There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, how long does it take for your blood pressure to go down after quitting smoking? Answer by Roy Gillen. The relationship between smoking and high blood pressure is still investigated. Smoking increases the buildup of plaque inside your arteries and can lead to strokes and heart attacks. While lowering your blood pressure is important, you should not neglect other important aspects of your health. Smoking is considered the most preventable cause of premature death in the Western world. There are many effective ways to lower your blood pressure. The following is a summary of the American Heart Association AHA, recommendations. Home monitoring. The AHA recommends home blood pressure monitoring for all people with high blood pressure. Track your blood pressure. Take control over your situation. Tracking your blood pressure helps you and your physician to understand your situation better and tailor your treatment. Try my app, my BP blood pressure tracker. Click here to check it out. Wait, even a 10 pound weight loss can help lower blood pressure in overweight people. Overweight people are at risk for multiple health problems. Diet, make smart choices. Try to follow the DASH, dietary approaches to stop hypertension. Diet, eat more fruits, vegetables, low fat dairy products, whole grains, fish and nuts. Limit consumption of bread and meat, sweets and sweetened drinks. Reduce sodium consumption. The AHA recommends no more than 2,300 mg slash day, ideally less than 1,500 mg slash day. In Western countries most of the sodium comes from processed food and not from your salt shaker. You can estimate the amount of sodium in your food by looking at the nutrition fact label. Try to keep a healthy diet and make smart dietary choices as mentioned above. With potassium, potassium rich diet is important as potassium reduces the negative effects of sodium. The DASH diet provides many sources of potassium. Physical activity, regular physical activity has many health benefits besides lowering your blood pressure and is one of the most important things you can do to improve your health. The American Heart Association recommends for most healthy people at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity, e.g., brisk walking. That each workout should last at least 10 minutes and it is better to spread them throughout the week. Try to incorporate strength workouts at least two days per week. You should take it easy and progress gradually. Try to build a plan you can stick to and make it your routine. Walking is recommended as it is easy, fun and can be social. Alcohol. Limit your alcohol consumption to two drinks slash day for men and one drink slash day for women. Medications. Medications may have important role in your treatment. Remember that naturopathic approaches are not a substitute for medications. Most probably, you doctor will recommend adopting lifestyle changes along with your medications. Over-the-counter medication, OTC, always read their labels. Look for warnings regarding high blood pressure. For example, decongestants may raise your blood pressure. It is recommended that you discuss the topic with your physician and decide together on your treatment. Remember that a key to better control is a good doctor-patient partnership. Equals 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 Medical disclaimer, the comment contains general medical information. Do not use the information as medical advice. The information is not a substitute for medical advice. No warranties or representations are given in relation to the medical answer by Alan Young. This question is impossible to answer. Your blood pressure may not go down at all after quitting smoking. High blood pressure is mostly caused by poor diet, lack of exercise, and abuse of alcohol all added to a genetic predisposition to hypertension. Smoking doesn't help, either. The bottom line, don't look for an easy fix. Eliminate as many of the causes as you can, but be sure to take your meds. 